so it is, uh, uh, you can say that Samba originates from Africa, different parts of Africa. Uh, but anyway, I would say that Samba that, is, that became labeled as Brazilian, uh, typical Brazilian, is the one from Rio de Janeiro, because uh, it is there where radio was, uh, where uh, uh, record companies were, uh, where also other musicians were, where you had European influence, or also uh, instruments. So uh, it is through that uh, uh, interaction that this samba or different sambas uh, uh, come out. But uh, as you can see in this uh, uh, book, uh, there is map uh, uh, that is placing different rhythms uh, and different musical genres to different areas. And, and you will see, like uh, Rio de Janeiro, samba, but Salvador, samba de roda, samba reggae. Uh, uh, then, yeah, you, you, you will see there are other uh, areas of Brazil that also have samba as one of the genres that are played. Because with, with mass media, yeah, music, something that is local music becomes national or international, global, you know, however you want to put it. I will show you just uh, uh, another, like, let's say, important moment. Uh, for this popularization. It's when Sinatra picked up uh, Bossa Nova in attempt to juvenilize, how to say, his, uh, rejuvenilize his uh, career to bring like fresh touch to it. And as Sinatra was a global star, yeah, that goes globally then. And this is Jobim. He was... I have the record here. Yeah. Well, I <laughs> mean, they, yeah, 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 yeah. He had uh, uh, education for like architecture, but uh, also as many people in Brazil like yeah play different instruments, have formal or informal musical education. Yeah, that's he went different uh, different way. It seems to me that in Brazilian music, there's a certain aspect and some of it of a certain melancholia. Oh, absolutely. How would you yeah. describe that? Like, if you could speak about that a little bit. Well, yes, uh, there, there is uh, 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 well, there, there it's not just uh, because a lot of people think Brazil is just, oh, I'm so happy, I'm so happy, I'm so uh, happy. But there is, there is, uh, the, I, I mentioned in the book uh, uh, the term alegria. The, you probably heard if you spend time in Brazil. Uh, uh, I write in the book about one, let's say, anecdote uh, with these cousins of mine. Actually, kids of my cousin that is helicopter driver. And so I went with them and their mother to park and in the car, yeah, mom is talking to, to them. They are twins. They were like five, six years old then. And yeah, the, the mom is asking kids, what is the most important thing in life? And they say, is it like health? No, it's not health. Is it uh, wealth? No, it's not wealth. So what is the most important thing in the life? It's alegria. 
and alegria is that joy uh, of life you can translate it in many uh, different ways but it, it, in some way you can say happiness joy uh, enjoying life enjoying moment because the point is that even if you are uh, sick and you know having health problem that you can enjoy still life you know that's not the end of life you you, you should enjoy and uh, in 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 uh, in the same time uh, there is that uh, also word uh, for loneliness, uh, for some kind of uh, sadness. Uh, uh, What's the word? Uh, I think it's Saudi. Uh, I, 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 I would not uh, like. I, I, I would need to check. I, I'm like off there for for quite some time, and I, I'm, I'm, how to say? I stop being so uh, familiar with it. But uh, uh, there is that. Uh, uh, I think it is that and uh, you feel that in the music as well and you can connect it to many different uh, things and particularly i would say to that experience yeah with slavery with poverty with uh, yeah the, the, some kind of dehumanization uh, uh, in a like more philosophical way but uh, then uh, yeah migrations uh, and, and all that uh, that I'm that not so familiar with, with music generally but where do you think American music has anything in melancholic or maybe in the music blacksmith African American ah, ah, absolutely and which I music do they have in Alcanic maybe well blues ah. uh, you have blues, blues is African American the, yeah ah. but they're all like jazz the, 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 there are uh, like uh, uh, these similarities, I would say. Do whites have a, a melancholic music in America? Not in that sense. And uh, in America... The country is not really melancholic, right? I wouldn't say so. I, and I, I, I'm not, in that sense, expert for it, but I we wouldn't have say... No, I wouldn't say so. Uh, I will show you, like, uh, this... I. Uh, uh, it is uh, famous and I would say it has that uh, uh, I will play two different versions of, of the song that yeah, is, uh, yeah. this is uh, what's the name of him? the guy is called uh, uh, Pishinginia and ah. he is uh, uh, the guy that was famous in the yeah, 1920s 1930s uh, his composer of that melody uh, that is called Carinoso, that is one of those anthems, you could say, that uh, uh, everyone in Brazil, even nowadays, know this uh, uh, song. And it's a. Uh, How do I say his name? Pishinginha. Pishinginha. It's. Uh -huh, you don't see that, yes. Pishaginia. Uh, he had... You're very talented. Uh, uh, and he, he picked up... Uh, saxophone. So he was criticized uh, in Brazil. Come, uh, it's funny story. I mean, funny, interesting. Uh, uh, but at the end of First World War, there were a lot of uh, black Americans that ended up after the war in, uh, in France, in Paris. So there was a musical scene in Paris that was really interesting, vibrating, that was where European and this uh, uh, American musicians, black American musicians, were uh, uh, meeting and that was also yeah important moment in jazz one of the l lines of jazz uh, uh, evolution do you know if something similar happened after the second world war 
Or was well, it very different? But those, it's, it, it, the, the, those things happen and those uh, interactions happen uh, all the time. It, the question is how far the, the offsprings uh, go and get, uh, because sometimes offspring uh, remains uh, very local. Sometimes it becomes global. So uh, it, 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 that is the question. I will show you. I would say that this uh, uh, melody, this song, has that uh, yeah. atmosphere that you talk about, you know, some kind of melancholy. Do you know where this is? Uh, this is in Rio, and this is Paulinho da Viola, who is famous. He is also living today. Uh, he is in late 70s, I would say, and Marisa Monch is uh, one of the greatest stars. And this is the same song, just with lyrics. And for me it's beautiful, I mean, it's one of the most... Yeah, my... Most favorite songs for me, as well. Mas mesmo assim foge de mim. Ah, se tu soubesses como eu sou tão carinhoso e muito, muito que te quero. E como é sincero, meu amor, eu sei que tu não fugirias mais de mim. Vem. Dos lábios meus A procura dos teus Vem matar essa paixão Que me devora o coração E só assim então Ser feliz, bem feliz Ser feliz, bem no, it's beautiful. I like that song <laughs> a lot. A lot. And then uh, let me see what else to show you because I don't want to uh, bother you too much. Not to no, you're not bothering. It's very interesting yeah. for me anyway. Uh, Let's see what they have here also to mix with this. Uh, yeah, this is also very important uh, uh, out of just to, 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 and to, to show you as illustration. Uh, this uh, Vinicius de Moraes, I, I mentioned him, uh, he was a, uh, uh, he, he was a poet. No, I and, uh, he was a, uh, he wrote lyrics for me, most of these bossa nova uh, uh, songs that became internationally known. Uh, uh, and then he was also performing. The funny thing is, the guy was uh, having privileged education uh, in Brazil. He was, you can say that he was belonging yeah, to the, uh, that thin, thin, thin strata of this uh, educated people, people that were educated abroad. Uh, uh, he worked then after the faculty, uh, uh, he was working in, in the media, uh, publishing poems, uh, poetry, uh, film critic, uh, this kind of thing, and then he entered to diplomacy. So he was a diplomat. Then, in 1950s, he was already around 40, maybe even like more than 40 years old, 
when he starts to hang out with musicians and these guys with Jobim, with whole crew of musicians in, in Rio, he, he didn't give a shit about diplomatic uh, rules. At the end, he was expelled from diplomatic service. And uh, uh, in Brazil, some of younger musicians uh, claim that Vinicius de Moraes uh, influenced Brazilian music in 1960s and even early 70s uh, uh, with his touch and in many different ways in in similar way as Beatles for instance uh, influenced uh, uh, music and culture of young people in the West you can say the only difference is that Beatles were in their 20s and Vinicius was in his 40s and he becomes something like a star uh, uh, performing, uh, living that uh, life of uh, uh, troubadour, you can say. Uh, uh, what does troubadour mean? But traveling musician, uh, those, uh, those were traveling musicians in Middle Ages. And uh, he was really living that life and he was also bohemian having lot of uh, uh, he he married i think nine times you know and and he has a lot of kids and uh, uh, he was also all the time i would say thinking and uh, 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 what is brazilian what is brazilian uh, 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 what is to be brazilian uh, music, uh, izraz, kako se kako bi rekli izraz na engleskom? Expression. Expression, yeah, what, what would be the, the, the real Brazilian expression. Mm -hmm. And he was, the last period of his life, he was also from Rio de Janeiro, uh, but the last period of his life he spent in, uh, in, uh, in Bahia. And, uh, 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 and he was considering also that Bahia is the cradle of Brazilian culture because Bahia was the place it was the place where uh, Portuguese landed in 